Okay, next up, we'll be looking at converting degrees to radians. So, for this expression, we need to know uh, essentially what radians are. So, if I were to draw a circle, I know that if I go completely all the way around the circle, I would have two. I would be I would be traveling 360 degrees. So around the circle is actually 360 degrees, or it is equal to uh, full rotations for two pi. So 360 degrees is equal to two pi radians. So further, I can say from here we can say that one degree is nothing but 2 pi radians divided by 360. So this expression comes down to the denominator. So from that, if I had to calculate 60 degrees, I can multiply this expression uh, with 60 on both the sides. Um, and from that, I would get 1 times 60 is equals to 2 pi over 360 times 60 radians. So this becomes 60 degrees is equals to, I know this and this is of the ratio 1 is to 6, becomes 6 and then 2 and 6 are of the ratio 1 is to 3, becomes 3. So what I'm left with is pi over 3 radians. So 60 degrees is also equal to pi over 3 radians. Um, I think the key principle that we need to know and remember is that 360 degrees, if we go all the way around a circle, we have gone around 2 pi. So this angle is also equal to 2 pi radians. Uh, and from that, we can go ahead with our conversion. Okay. Perfect. The solution is correct.